We're going to be bringing this down to about 80. So in my 45, we'll probably be down around 100. Entering at 120. County traffic, Cessna 7 Golf Echo flying midfield, the left downwind runway 1, Warren County. We are perpendicular to the road, and we'll be begin in about three seconds. All right, we are crossing the road, so we will put it into a 30-degree bank and start pulling back, and we're outside of the plane. Altitude. There's 100. And there's almost our 90 degree. Uh, 90 degree is right. Those is coming over. We're picking up speed and coming back down. Let that bank out. Warren County traffic. Bank out. Seven Golf Echo left downwind. Run uh, there's Warren, our speed Warren coming County. back in, and there we are crossing over the road at 20. 50 feet. That good? Yep. All right. Now show me one of the lefts. All right, I'm going to come back around and reposition on that road real quick. I'd like to see you do it from where we're at. Where we're at right here. All right, there is a road. We are already configured. We'll go ahead and start my 30-degree bank. And there's the road. Altitude. There's our 45. Going around at 90. There's... Let the nose come over, come back down, start picking up our e-speed, pull out our bank. And there we are. All right, very good. good. Yep. Warren County traffic. All right, I'd like you to... I'd like you to show me a steep turn. Uh, you can pick which direction. Okay. And let me know when you're ready to begin the maneuver. All right, I'm going to align myself with this road down here. Okay. Enter 3,000, so I'm going to start my clearing turns kind of here, left and right. And then once I get there, uh, I will go a left-hand turn. Okay. And again, the entry for this, I, I believe, is 120 below maneuvering speeds, 40% power. There was one. I don't see anybody out there. Nobody showing up on traffic. Nobody out that way. I'll get past this town real quick, and then I will do it. And the steep turn Warren County John Lynch, uh, five, eight, one, requires a uh, uh, 50, 50 degree bank. We'll be crossing a midfield center of the left. 50, de 50 degree one. bank, not to exceed 60. All right, we are aligned with that road. And we are at entry speed in 3,040 feet, so I will go ahead and bank into a left turn. There's the road. Back elevator control. Went around. Road's right below me. At speed, 3,000. Keep pulling back a little bit, and we are starting to come out. Visually. Right. On the road. All right. Show me one more to the right. John Lane, Scott, 5811 Romeo. All right. Two miles at 3,000, and yeah, so we'll go ahead and restart right here. We'll go ahead and go to the right. Right rudder. All right. Well, there's the road below me. There, I see that road. Pull back. I need. There's that road. Keep pulling back. Get my altitude back. And I slowly. Yeah, 
County, John Lane, Scott, 5811 Romeos, overhead, crossing the midfield to enter the left downwind runway. One more gun. I can do PFD display backup and it will take the MFD off. Yeah, do that. Awesome. Well, where are we? How do we get back to Warren County? Uh, where are we? Uh, well, I'm flying on a 180 heading. Uh, if I want to use this as my backup. Um, Warren County, John Lane, Scott, 5811 Romeo's left base runway one. I'm going to go direct enter, enter. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because it can give me a heading and it says 332. So what I could do is I do want to stay out of front ahead and turn myself around. Actually, I'm going to go right because uh, I'm below 5,000 feet. I'm going to go back to 332 and just work my way to the right. At least if I'm using this as a backup, I know I'll come up on 71 here in a minute, and I know that that's north, uh, is south, south, southeast of Warren County. Is turning base final runway. One Warren County. All right, walk me through your loss procedures. Let's assume you don't know where you're at. Your iPad's off. Who can you contact? What can you do to figure out where you're at? What you need to do? Well, I would, I would probably first say, okay, this is my last known location. I want to use pilotage. I'm looking around for, uh, for major areas. The lake over here, which I'm guessing could potentially be East Fork. I know I'm on the east side of Cincinnati. I know I could contact uh, 118.85 for Columbus Approach uh, or 121 for Cincinnati Approach. They could help um, identify me, give me a squat code, and give me a heading if need be. Um, even if my MFD did go out, I can put in my ports and it and it will give me some idea in reference to other airports. So if I lost my GPS position, I could still potentially have it here saying, okay, I'm four miles from 06, uh, for 0866. I could look up that airport on here and okay. find it as well. All right. Um, show me a uh, fire in the cockpit emergency procedure. Smoke in the cockpit. Uh, smoke in the cockpit. I'm going to turn off. Uh, this. I'm going to turn off the air conditioning. I am going to go into um, a checklist, 7 Alpha Papa uh, document. Emergency procedures. Failure. Engine failure in flight. Engine start. Engine fire in flight. Mixture. I'm going to go to the IR cutoff. Fuel pump is going to go off. Airflow selector is off. Power. I'm going to go back to idle. Ignition to off. And the cabin doors, I'm going to go partially open. All right. So go ahead and give me idle throttle. Okay. And uh, show me where you're going to land and let's fly there. All right. 66 is 3.9 miles away. Uh, it's back to my left. It says it's 3,200. That's what I'm going to aim for. Throttle back to idle. Uh, go, go into best glide. I'm going to get myself aligned with that so that I know I'm heading in the right direction. So you are aware I have the rings It's saying I will not make that. Okay. Um, so at this point in time, I do have fields, but I would choose Altitude. not to. There's a road right there. The issue is, is that um, the POH again calls for anywhere between 600 and 2,000 feet AGL, which would be right below 3,000 feet. So I'm not sure I would necessarily at this point pick one of those spots. I would have to deploy over a field with, with the I pick an open field over there and 
All right, so when we get up above 3,000 feet again, um, I'd like to see an accelerated stall. Uh, let's do it to the right. Okay. 45 degree turn and stall. 45 degree turn and stall. All right. First, first indication. First indication. So there's the road, so we will go ahead and rotate into 45 degrees. Pull back, and I need right rudder. Right rudder, right rudder, right. Here's the buffeting, and oh, nose down, okay, get our Dodge speed back. One on Romeo's turning left, base runway one, number two. And there we go back into VY. Awesome. All right, uh, I want you to pick two pylons on the ground for me. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring myself down. I'm going to get myself down to about 100 and... Uh, Five. Um, actually, no, make that about 110. 110 squared calculation while we're in a descent down to pivotal altitude. And then we're going to divide that by 11.3, means we're 1,070 feet. Right above AGL is 3148 right now. And I'll start looking for it as I get a little bit closer. No Got to be about uh, three quarters of a mile apart, so. All right, so you said about 110 knots, and your pivotal altitude was what? Uh, 1,070 AGL, so when I get down to 1,070 right now, it says the AGL is 2,200, so we got about 1,200 feet to go, so it'll be about 2,000 feet. And that's 110 knots ground speed, not indicated airspeed, right? That's correct. Okay. We are going to have a headwind uh, if I go this way. So what I might do is I might go out here, identify, and come back in the other direction. Headwind. Okay. And remember, you want to start the maneuver with the highest ground speed first. Yes. So come in with the he with the, the wind at your back. Wind at my back. So. All right. So if we continue to look at this, there is a water tower to the right. Over there? Yep. That'll be my right pylon. Okay. My left pylon, I think I'm going to do those two silos. Two silver silos to the left of it, right over this way. Right there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the right first. Wind is kind of going that direction. And I'm about ready to come up on my... Orange County traffic, Cessna 628 Foxtrot November, um, correction, Cessna 206 Foxtrot November is left downwind, runway one, warning. All right, there's that, and then it's going to be coming out on my other side. Level. Level out. There they are. Take a little bit more steady, put nose down, get it back on the wing. Back on the wing. Hurt to pull back a little bit, pull back. Forward Forward a little bit. Cessna 206, Foxtrot November, left base, runway one, Warren County. University traffic, that's a 2490 Alpha, solar season, 10 miles west. Forward. Don't enter left downwind for on your seven. University traffic. And then level back out at 45 degrees from the door. Okay, looks good.
All right, we're going to hit the 1,000 foot markers right now. Go ahead and pull our power out. Hit one notch of flaps. Warren County traffic, Sierra 717 Alpha Papa, simulated engine out. Uh, turning left base, runway one, Warren County traffic. Altitude. Warren County traffic, sir, 717 Alpha Papa, final runway, one Warren County. Five hundred. Oh, Brian, that's perfect. Got it. Killed it. 